Dear Chloe, um, I'm applying for jobs, a job specifically. There's a position at the school that opened up and I still have to write the diversity statement. I have never written a diversity statement before. I have no idea what a diversity statement is. The application provides no indication of what kind of diversity statement they are looking for. So I am very lost. Last night I decided to do some reading before bed because I was really anxious and I thought some light reading would take my mind off of it. I stayed up until 4 a.m. finishing my novel <laughs> and this morning I stayed in bed until 1 p.m. partially because I didn't want to get up and write this diversity statement. So now it's 8 o'clock, 7 hours later. I have not written a word of a diversity statement but I have looked at my resume and cover letter again and... And that's about it. Uh, <laughs> I have no more brain juice. I do not want to write anymore. It has been such a bizarre cycle of like hyping myself up and down for this position, switching between, yeah, I, I'm, I got the experience, I can do this, and I am fooling myself and pranking the, the recruiters, and there's no way I'll actually be able to do it. I'm a fraud. It's been a weird day. I've eaten one slice of pizza and one hungry man dinner over the course of the entire day. And I've been staring at a computer screen all day, which would explain why I kind of had a headache. Yeah, one day, home alone, and I already look like I'm going nuts. It's harder to take care of myself when there's no one home. I almost don't count myself as a person that needs to be taken care of. So when the time comes and I need to eat, or go outside. I, I don't register that as I need to take care of myself. Very bizarre, very, very bizarre. I have this heavy feeling in my chest. It doesn't feel like I need to cry or anything. And I don't think it's anxiety either, but it's heavy. I don't know how to explain what, what that feeling is. Maybe I'm lonely? I haven't sold myself in so long that writing a resume and trying to hype myself up in my cover letter. It's very bizarre being forced to think positively about myself. I was on a pretty good patch. I felt relatively normal and able to take care of myself. And it's so bizarre because when you're in a depressive state, your brain has a harder time making memories and remembering things. So then once you're out of it, you don't have as many memories or vivid memories of what that experience was just like. So you kind of forget that it happened. Once you're back in a functional state, it almost feels like waking up from a weird dream, but then forgetting as soon as you wake up until you're back in it again and you very, very violently remember just how bad the dream was. Being in a position where I do feel like I'm awake, it makes me all that more afraid of what it's going to be like when I fall back asleep. And what if I have a job by then? How am I going to climb myself out of that hole again? <laughs> the thought of engaging in a 40-hour work week. <sighs> it's like, I don't think I can do it. I'm applying, but I honestly don't think I can do it. To update on last week, last week's video, I did call my dad and told him that, that I'm not gonna be doing the family business stuff for a while. I'm pretty sure I broke his heart. And it's not like I'm getting kicked out. There wasn't any vitriol or anger directed at me, just sadness, probably some disappointment. In any case, just thinking about not being everything my parents thought that I would be just breaks my heart every time I think about it. So here I am sitting in front of a computer, typing away and puffing myself up and on my resume, trying not to get lost in the woods, but at the very least to just keep walking. I think I'm going to be lost for a very long time. That's a very scary feeling. I am reaching out to more people recently. Maybe, maybe that'll help. Just kind of feeling some kind of way. No more brain juice. <laughs> so let me know how that application goes if you ever hear back. I mean, just finishing the damn thing is going to be a big accomplishment in and of itself. There will be plenty of applications and interviews in the future. <laughs> So enjoy the novelty while it lasts. I hope that you're doing well, in spite of everything. Sincerely, Chloe.